But anyway, yeah, what I was going to say, yeah, black man, I don't know what's wrong with black man. Yeah, why are black man so moist? Why are black man so, not all black man, obviously, innit, yeah? But what is this thing with hanging around outside barbershops? Now, maybe it's because we don't have no pubs, yeah? Now, I'm not saying it's a good thing that man hang outside pubs or whatever, innit? Yeah? Listen, you see my old barbershop, right? Now, my barber's recently moved, so I don't know who's going to be there on a regular basis, yeah, because it's my first time going, the second time going there, whatever, isn't it? Yeah? But my old barber shop that I used to go to for the same barber, which is around the corner as well, the same man are always there all the fucking time. It's so bad, yeah? There's one guy in particular. He's a cool brother. Every time I see him, bigger man, older man for me, innit? he's cool. Yeah, I like him, innit? Yeah? He is so consistent. And he feels so compelled to hang outside this barbershop, yeah? Watch her now. During quarantine, yeah? During lockdown, yeah? Obviously, all shops are closed, yeah? The barbershop was closed, yeah? The shutters were down, yeah? But obviously, we're black out here, innit? So we just, yeah? We bend the rules, innit, yeah? The barber, the, sh the shutters are shut. The shop looks closed, but we're going through the back door getting our hair cut, Carl. We need to look, yeah, on point, even during lockdown, yeah? No excuses for, for, for looking rough, yeah? And that's coming from me. <laughs> One of the guys that is always at the barbershop, every fucking time I go to the barbershop, this guy is there. If I go to the barbershop 20 times, the man is there 22 times, yeah? He's that consistent. There was hardly, there was like one two, or two barbers in the barbershop cutting hair, but the shutters are down. You know the guy was sitting outside the front of the barbershop, just chilling out. I'm thinking the man is like a zombie. You know, like, I even see him walking dead, but I've seen like Dawn of the Dead and them zombie films and that. You know, and they just feel compelled to be somewhere. They don't even know why they're there. And the man just sitting down outside. He just feels compelled. He's so, his body... Is so used to being outside of this area or this place, right? He just feels compelled to be there, even when the place is fucking shut, yeah? Unless it's bedtime or whatever, he's going to be outside this barbershop. And there's men that spend their whole day at this barbershop, yeah? I mean, the man them are there from midday to 8 p.m. All day long. These are grown men with kids, you know? These men have met the wife, girl, you know? But they're outside barbershops doing nothing. Nah. Fucking madness. How are you spending your whole day outside the fucking barbershop? And you're not even getting a haircut. And no one time I've seen any of these men get a haircut as well. But yet still they're outside the barbershop. My barber, as I said, my barber's moved barbershop and he's around the corner. The same brother came into the barbershop. Yeah, and I was like, well, 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 well. And obviously I don't even remember me. I remember him from the other place. Yeah, so I'm like, well, well, you're good, yeah. He just feels compelled, yeah, to be around barbershops. Yeah? And I bet that's what he does. He bounces from barbershop to barbershop to barbershop. Yeah? He probably has like a little roll to, oh, I'm going to be at this one, Monday, Tuesday, and then that one over there, Wednesday, Thursday, and then back here for Friday because it's popping in here. Now, I know why them man there, uh, which ain't an excuse, they congregate outside the barbershop because they got a big screen in there. And usually if there's a football game on, they'll be watching football. But still, I ain't being one of them man there. Yeah? God forbid, imagine you don't see fucking Jay Wise outside a barbershop in, in, in 10 years' time and my hairline's even more faded or whatever, isn't it? Nah, fuck that. Outside the bookies, that's a known one as well. When I used to, I used to go to the bookies when I was younger, innit? Like, when I was like 15, 16, yeah? I don't even know how they didn't even kick me out or whatever, innit? But this man that I used to see when I used to go past the bookies, who obviously always in there, whatever. I've been in there and I'm, I used to like playing a roulette machine or whatever, put a pound in, whatever, and it boom. There's man, right, who will be telling you what to bet and how to win, but he's not doing it himself, cause he's fress. He ain't got no fucking, sorry, he's grass. He ain't got no fucking money. Yeah? But he's telling you how, to, he's telling you what to bet on and how to win, but he ain't got no fucking money himself. So you know what, yeah, I think they, they probably clocked that I was too young. But they just didn't even care, innit? Yeah. There were certain times they used to challenge me and then I had to leave or whatever, innit? Yeah. But there were certain times I managed to go in it and then boom, turn my back to the people who work in the shop, you know, so they can't see my face or whatever, innit? Yeah. So yeah, that's how I managed to get in and just go in there and turn my back to the people who work in the shop. And then yeah. 
see. <laughs> no, they said barbershop bouncing, you know. <laughs> 